We all need more fresh fish in our diet, so Chef Bill has a couple of recipes for us. Hey, can I get some fresh fish, maybe some walleye, and how about um, some scallops? Perfect. All right, looks good. And chips. Okay, Chef. You know, the guys over there in the fish department are really cool. I've got fish. They didn't have any walleye left, but I have a different kind. What kind is that? Well, one? well that's hake, which is okay. similar to cod, but I have my own private stash with Ooh, walleye, right. so we're good. And scallops. Oh, some beautiful scallops. Beautiful scallops. Okay. okay, and I think these are my snack, that, right? Well, maybe, but not now. Are we going to cook with them? Later. Okay. We're going to cook with them. All righty. What's my so first So we're going to do, okay, first thing we're going to do, walleye springtime, the walleye run, we're, but we're going to, instead of deep frying it, we're going to more saute it. So okay. we're going to take the chips and we're going to put them in the food processor right. so they come out looking up. like that. All right, a little gonna, chunky, there's some big parts little chunky, in there. yep. A couple seconds. You're going to take the walleye. Okay. Let me do it. Grab some, okay, go for it. There we go. So we do flour. Flour. Okay. This is just unseasoned flour. This is just uh, an egg wash, which is just uh, beaten eggs. Yep. And then So the flour up. sticks to the fish, the eggs stick to the flour, and your breading sticks to the eggs. Okay. And I could it. go panko, mm -hmm. but you went with the tortilla I, chip. I like the Why? tortilla chip. Uh, you'll see when we cook it that it really seals it. Okay. And you don't get the uh, oil seeping into the fish. So it actually it forms a really nice crust and the fish is actually steaming inside that crust okay. instead of frying in the, in the hot oil. I'm thinking we're about done here, we're Chef. Done. Now, what okay. we now we're going to put them in the uh, frying pan. So okay. I have a pan with hot oil already okay. going and just the vegetable oil. Okay. Okay. And you're not deep frying, so you can see just a little bit of oil in the bottom. Okay. And then you want to take your fish and you want to lay it flush side down, skin side up. Okay. Skin side up, flesh side skin, down. Skin. Because if you put the skin side down, the skin cooks and it contracts, and that's what causes okay. so it to puff up. So that's going, and we're just going to let that cook. This pan is hot in the middle, that too. That pan's what are we hot. Doing we're doing that with the scallops. Okay. Okay, we're going to sear these. All right. So to sear is what you want to do. Olive oil? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. Just a little, little olive oil. Sure. On my hands, on, on the scallops, yeah. whatever. Throw it around with the wine. It's and all good. Now that's, what? That's it. Oh, you just want to toss it. Okay. So we have the hot pan going, and you don't want anything in the pan. So now no, if, if there's you put nothing oil, in there. If you, no if, oil. You, if you put oil in there, you're not searing, you're frying. Ah, okay, so we're no. searing. So you just want to take it. Chef's rules. Come on, last side. There and you stand this up. Yep. Oh, okay, on the ends. We only want the top we and bottom. We only want the top and bottom. Okay. Fancy. How long do we sear it? These are small enough. Your pan's hot enough. You're only going to do a minute, a minute and a half on the side. But don't go anywhere. Keep the wine glass in the left hand. Keep the hand. wine glass. There you go. <laughs> and How long it. has the fish been in? Just a minute or so? Yeah, just a minute or so. So it's going to take a few minutes on each side. Okay. You, you want that corn tortilla to really start to brown nicely, okay. but not burn. All right. Yeah. And we're cutting calories. How many calories would you say this dish would be? I'm, I'm looking at under 500 easily. Okay, we're going to make a really nice, slightly spicy sauce mm. for, the, for the walleye. All right. So we're going to start with the canola mayonnaise. Yes. Uh, some... Chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, okay. smoked paprika, and cilantro. Okay, magic Comes out TV. looking like that. Ta-da. Looks Perfect. like a special sauce, yeah. like Thousand yeah. Island it's, dressing. Or it's a little bit, like, no, it's more like a, almost like a spicy mayonnaise Big or a remoulade. Yeah, we'll give it so. a shot. Nice. Okay. I see we're getting the kick, but it's not overwhelming because you have the no. mayo in it. Right. And then and then you're also going to be putting on the fish and you can have other things on the plate, so it's going to... Uh, kind really of calm it like all that. down. Like that? I might keep that one for lots Simple. of other things. Cool. This little dealio. Then let's Money. turn our, you see that's right. done, so I'm going to put that off to the side. Okay. And I'm going to turn these scallops. Got it. So you can see, even with the oh, oil pan just on there, beautifully. they turn, not sticking, they come right yeah, up. Yeah, they're perfect. Nice. And those that are almost pretty. done. Okay. Okay. We've got our sauce. Got We've our got sauce. our fish. Let's put this right here. Yeah. So you can see all the oil still in the pan. And if you take mm. that fork, just tap that. And you can see how crunchy it is. So you're oh, not, yeah. you don't have that yeah. uh, uh, nice. oil-laden no. deep-fried batter. And then what do we want to do? Put and some of this on the side. Yeah. Maybe get a clean. There you go. <laughs> I was licking on this one. <laughs> Oh, that's Just pretty. Over the top. So you're saying in the spring? In the spring. Give yourselves another shot, something different on the something menu. Different, yeah, you know, it's nice, especially if you're not catching the fish. You know, uh, standing in the cold, balmy river, 
this will this will warm you up. I think so. And as you cut into it, you can see it's just nice and light and flaky inside. Mm. Mm. See that? Cool. Oh yeah. And I really like a little bit of that tortilla. So you can see. I can the, really taste the tortilla. Very nice. See how flaky that is. That fish is just yeah. perfect in there. How so. many minutes was that total? Uh, eight to ten minutes. You know, if you're standing there watching, you can keep the flame on high. You know, you could if you're busy doing other things, you can tune down, take a little bit yeah. more time. Chef, okay. I think this one is going to go on my favorites list because we Good. need more fish in our lives, don't That's we? That's right. So I got that fire off. Those are all I'll done. Take one more bite because I'm these are good. And again, oh, springtime, real easy. So we're going to use some uh, fresh rhubarb. Oh. And we're just going to stew this okay. like you would make stewed rhubarb. All right. Now, so if you haven't done this before, just chop it. Okay. I love rhubarb. So when you stew rhubarb, you only put just a little bit of water to cover the bottom because it has so much moisture that if it starts to cook, it, it releases some water, okay. so you don't want it to get. It so in. you put that on, and we'll get that fire started. Okay. And then to kick it up a little bit, grab the knife for me, please. Sure. There we go. We're going to oh. put a little jalapeno in there. So this, is, you, chef. this is a rhubarb jalapeno coulis. So a coulis, C O U L I S, is basically a reduction yes. sauce Got of, the, of the ingredients. Look at us. Now we're I all could, chefs. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then what I do to get the seeds out is I just take my tip of my knife and nice. I pull it right out. And okay. If you're not used to doing this and you want to wear some gloves. Got it. But, uh, because the heat's really in the, the seeds, The heat's in right? the seeds and, okay. the, and the pith. So you get those out. And again, okay. this is going to go in a blender or a food mm -hmm. processor. Okay. Blender's nicer actually for this. So you don't need to be too... Okay. Yeah, particular with the chop. Okay. So we put it and put it in there. So we put it in with the uh, rhubarb. With the right rhubarb. The, the jalapeno right there. Right there. Okay. And then we're going to add a little sugar now. You don't want this sweet like uh, like you do stewed rhubarb, but you okay. do want to cut the sourness a little bit, but it's going to go on the scallops. Quarter cup. Okay. Uh, Quarter cup of sugar. Yeah, oh yeah, at the most. And and as it cooks down, wait until it gets okay. set, it gets soft, add it, and then you can okay. taste it. Uh, we have. Uh, and then. You're going to put this whole thing in a blender, blend it, and you're going to add just a touch of cream. So for this amount here, at the end, we would do maybe wow. an ounce. a couple of tablespoons Cause, of yeah, this. Yeah, because when it, when it blends, that cream will help okay. make it come out like All right. this. Now, I know that I'm going to love the flavor yeah. of this, Chef, but yeah. the color looks a little bit like... Stir it up a little bit. Okay, stir it up. There we go. <laughs> you know... Could I put a little red food coloring in there or something to kind of make it? Well, so. you could, you know, and it, it, you could also depend on your rhubarb. So you might Ooh. get rhubarb redder. Mm, that's fantastic. Oh, it's got a little bite to it with that jalapeno. A little bite of jalapeno. jalapeno. Mm -hmm. so I like it. Okay, I've got plate, the plate. And then if How you are want the scallops to, looking? They're looking good. Okay. So we have some rice. This, is, this is a saffron rice, and for this I used a smoked basmati rice. Mm. So it has a nice slight smoke flavor to it. Mm. Saffron cooked right in, so you get the nice bright color. Mm. It has a nice earthy Fresh. flavor. Really light. So we're going to take that and then our scallops, which are nice and seared. And we're going to set right on top. Ooh. And then we're going to take our sauce. Mm -hmm. um, there, there we go. Good. Nice And job. we're just going to put a little bit on the a side. A little bit over the top of it. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. And that is it. All right, and there let's you go. try it. And what you're going to see is how many calories is, would you say? Again, under, under 500. Uh, the only real calories in this dish really just what would be in the scallops. And again, uh, the sauce. Mm. Oh, fantastic! So. so like, so, mm -hmm. so when you taste that, you know that you don't really want to sweeten the rhubarb because you have the sweetness yeah. of the scallop, which mm -hmm. is going to complement it. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of heat. Wow. And then the earthiness of the saffron rice. Yeah. it all together. Real simple. Mm. Very few ingredients. That sauce Easy is to do. fantastic. That nice? I really yeah. do like a little bit of that heat in there. Yep. I hated them. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Great recipe. Great. Alternatives to fish, getting yourself healthy, cutting those calories. If you want all of these ingredients, don't worry, we've got you covered. Just go to our website at WTOL.com or check out the WTOL app. Yeah, okay. keeper here.